crazy Mr. Ross Powell! Good evening, wonderful people of the Comedy Store. How are we? We well? Good, good. Uh, so yes, I am, I am Russ Powell. Uh, people tell me I look like various other people, so I just want to clear a few things up at the top. So I am not the bastard love child of Ricky Gervais and James Corden. <laughs> I am not that little kid from the film Up. <laughs> and I am not a Japanese lesbian. <laughs> Thanks for agreeing as well. Thanks for that. Uh, are we, have, I just want to check, are, are we animal lovers at the comedy store? Do we love animals? Are we, are we pet owners? But are we those kind of pet owners that think that our animals have personalities and have characters? Right, you're wrong. They don't, right? What animals actually have is nationalities, right? Because certain animals act very similarly to certain nationalities, right? Dogs, for instance, a very, very American. Right, you've taken the slate in so far. Get ready for some more, right? <laughs> Dogs are very American because they get very, very excited about very, very little. <laughs> Let's find this American dog, like, uh, we're gonna go to the park. We're going to the park! I fucking love the park! Let's go to the park! Open the car door! Get in the car! Start the car, bitch, come on! Let's go! Wide down the window! D-O-G! D-O-G! Oh man, we're at the park! I fucking love the park! This is a tree! Oh, I'm gonna piss on this! Oh man! Oh, there's a ball! Throw the ball for me! Man, throw the ball! Where the fuck did the ball go? Oh man, this is amazing! This is... Oh my god, what is this? What is this? Can, can I eat this? I really want to eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Can I eat it? I, I, I really want to eat this. Can I eat it? Much like Americans. <laughs> Cats, on the other hand, cats are quite French, quite mysterious, quite laid back, quite nonchalant, just like. <sighs> meow. <laughs> you have food for me? You have a drink for me? No? No? No food? No drink? Well, I fuck off to another family for two weeks, you know? <laughs> have you ever made eye contact with everyone while it's doing a poo? A, so a cat, not a Frenchman, right? <laughs> Fucking scary, don't do it. It's something they can see straight through you. Like, you make eye contact with a cat while it's curling one out, like this, like... <laughs> oh, I have your soul now. Not your typical pet, but uh, ants. <laughs> seamless, this, seamless. Uh, ants. Ants are quite German. <laughs> because they are efficient! <laughs> they are organized! But you will never forgive them for the time they invaded your house. <laughs> Sheep. Sheep are Welsh. <laughs> Just biology more than anything. <laughs> so do, doing, doing this job, doing the old stand-up malarkey, you sort of travel around the country a lot. You go to all different weird and wonderful places. I was in this horrible little place the other day. It's called The North or something. <laughs> Grim, don't bother, don't bother, right? But I was staying in this grotty little hotel, done the, done the gig, was getting ready the morning after, turned on the TV, it only had one channel. So I thought I'll keep it on just as I was getting ready in the morning, but I got a bit into it. All right, it was a kid's show, basically around this character called Mr. Muddles. 
And they were trying to teach Mr. Muddles how to wash his hands. And it sort of went along the lines of this, like, come on, Mr. Muddles, wash your hands. And he put his head in the bowl. No, Mr. Muddles, that's not how you do it. Come on, Mr. Muddles, wash your hands. And he put his elbows in the bowl. It's like, no, Mr. Muddles, that's not how you do it. Come on, Mr. Muddles, wash your hands. And he put his feet in the bowl. And they go, no, Mr. Muddles, that's not how you do it. So I was getting into it. And after about the fifth, <laughs> after about the sixth or seventh time, of, no, Mr. Muddles, that's not how you do it. I distinctly heard from the next room a deep, masculine voice go, FOR FUCK'S SAKE, MR. MUDDLES! <laughs> Ladies and gents, you have been an absolute delight. I've been Russ Powell. Thanks very much. Good night. Russ Powell! Guys, what you might not know, here at the Comedy Store, we have a proud tradition in welping, uh, welcoming newer acts to cut their teeth here at the Comedy Store stage who aren't quite doing the full 20 minute sets here. And that was Russ's very first open spot at the Comedy Store. Didn't he do amazing? <laughs> Wicked. Wicked. Cool stuff, cool stuff. And did, we, did we discover more Americans in the process or is it just still you, Will? Is it just you on your own invading?